authority to administer. Isaiah 53 verse 12. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great. And he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he poured out his soul unto death and he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. This week, we continue to talk about various ways in which we can exercise our spiritual authority. And I want to bring our attention to the fact that we can administer Christ's completed work on the cross into the lives of people. In Isaiah 53 verse 12, the verse that we just read, it talks about uh, Isaiah's prophesying. It's talking about the work of Jesus on the cross. And it says that as a result of what Jesus accomplishes on the cross, uh, the Father will so exalt him that he will give him a portion with the grave. That means he will be exalted to the place of greatness. And we know that has happened. Jesus has been exalted and given a name that is above every other name, uh, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. But that verse also continues in Isaiah 53 verse 12 that he will divide the spoil with the strong. That means the, the victory that he accomplishes, the conquest that he get, makes, he's going to share the spoil. He's going to distribute that victory to those who are with him. So we must understand that as believers, we share in Christ's triumph on the cross. That victory that he gained has been given to us. He shared the spoil with us. That means today you and I are walking in his triumph. We are walking in his victory. Now, what do we do with that victory? Well, two things. One, of course, we walk, we enjoy it in our own lives, that we walk in that triumph in our own lives. But Jesus commissioned us as his ambassadors. That means we administer his triumph into the lives of people. So I want you to understand that part of the authority that Jesus Christ has vested in you is that he has given you his triumph. And he says, go forth and enforce my victory on the earth. We are here to administer his authority, his triumph, his completed work in the lives of people. That means we come with force. And whether the devil likes it or not, we advance forcefully and we push back what he has, the ground he has taken. We forcefully uh, advance the kingdom of God because we've been called to uh, administer that finished work of Jesus on the cross. So we can release forgiveness to people by preaching the gospel to them. Uh, we can administer healing, uh, deliverance, wholeness uh, by bringing that into their lives. Make use of this. Bless others with it. Exercise your authority to administer Christ's triumph on the cross. Let's pray. Father, we ask that we will remain conscious of this opportunity of what you've called us to do, to share in the triumph of the cross, to administer it into the lives of people. Help us to bring the power of the finished work of the cross into people's lives so they can be changed. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.